name is Rami Nagel. Welcome to part three of this series on curing tooth decay. In part one, I shared with you how the current theory of tooth decay is seriously flawed and has many holes. In part two, I showed you how our bodies deteriorate from a certain type of nutrition and that teeth decay due to a lack of nutrients and vitamins. Our bodies were designed to have a certain amount of nutrients and vitamins to be healthy and in our modern diet we don't get those vitamins anymore and one of the results of that is that our teeth decay. The most thorough version of my tooth decay reversing protocol is available in my ebook. A less thorough version but still very complete and sufficient is available on my website for free at yourreturn.org. One of the things so missing in our modern diet is a group of foods that Western Press called fat soluble activator. A combination of three of these foods when used together helps create a very strong bone growth potential. The first important food is cod liver oil or high vitamin cod liver oil. You need to take one quarter to one half teaspoon or more twice per day with meals. Each half teaspoon of high vitamin or fermented cod liver oil can be replaced with about two tablespoons of grass-fed liver. The reason why you need to have cod liver oil or grass-fed liver from any kind of animal is because th the liver is very rich in vitamins A and D and this supports bone growth. The second essential piece to reversing tooth decay is a high vitamin butter. High vitamin butter is produced during the spring and summer time when cows eat rapidly growing grass. There is a supplement that some people use called high vitamin butter oil and you can also just buy butter during the summer and springtime and it has this yellow color let's see if you can see it in addition to the local yellow butters you can get different imported butters from grass fed animals the anchor butter or jana valley those butters include Kerrygold butter a lot of them have a nice yellow tinge especially when they've been made during the springtime for reversing tooth decay, I recommend one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of butter oil or one to two tablespoons of yellow butter per meal or twice per, twice per day it needs to be taken with the cod liver oil or the liver. Now what this yellow butter has in it that makes it yellow is a substance Weston Price called Activator X. This has been recently identified as a uh, animal version of vitamin K2. This vitamin is essential to taking to take the minerals and help bond them onto the bones. So now we have a powerful combination, the butter and the cod liver oil, and it needs to be yellow butter. Regular butter won't do it. When the butter is not grass fed, it does not have the activator X. So here we can see how our modern system of commerce fails us, not providing us grass fed butter. We don't get activator X our bones don't grow properly and our teeth decays. In my ebook and on my website I have links to where you can obtain many of these special foods. Another food that's used not often enough that will help reverse tooth decay is bone marrow. Here's an eaten bone marrow and I suggest one to four tablespoons of bone marrow about one or two of these uh, per day. In addition to the fat soluble vitamins you're going to need to have approximately one and a half grams of calcium and two grams of phosphorus or more per day from natural sources. One of the best sources of calcium is raw grass-fed milk. This is actually a fermented milk called kefir. You want to be drinking about two to eight cups of raw or fermented grass-fed milk or yogurt per day. In order to obtain phosphorus, I recommend eating uh, several meals per week of raw or fermented fish. This is fermented raw salmon. I also suggest raw, rare cooked, or marinated grass-fed beef or lamb to be eaten several times per week, and raw, fresh oysters and clams to be eaten several times per week. I might mention to you that I actually practice all of these things that I'm advocating and I have found it to be highly successful in making my teeth extremely hard 
sensitive spots in my teeth have gone away and my teeth used to feel loose in my mouth and now they feel extremely strong and resilient. If you're only getting your vitamins A and D from the cod liver oil, then I suggest once or twice a week to have a meal of regular grass-fed liver from any kind of animal. An often ignored aspect to reversing tooth decay is the regular and frequent use of bone broth. This is a nourishing stews made with the carcasses of fish, chicken, beef, pork, whatever you have. It needs to be preferably grass-fed or wild-caught fish. Fish stock is probably the most effective in reversing tooth decay because of, of the large amount of minerals that it has. Many people say, wow, that's a lot of meat in the diet. I don't know if I can eat that much meat. And what if my body becomes too acidic? Now, in order to balance the eating of meat, you need to eat a lot of vegetables. So what I have here, and I recommend eating daily or with every meal, is some kind of fermented food. This is sauerkraut uh, fermented cabbage. So the vegetables you want to eat a lot of are carrots, zucchini, broccoli, celery, string beans, and any kind of vegetable you really feel like eating. Now a lot of these vegetables it's not good to consume them too often raw because you don't get a lot of nutrients out of it. However, vegetable juice if it's made at home or a stew or soups made with vegetables are really good and easy way to get your vegetables. I drink about two to four cups of vegetable juice per day or have two or three cups of vegetable soup with a, made with pureed vegetables every day and I get plenty of vegetables and that balances all the animal foods that I'm eating. Now in addition to the special foods you really need to avoid the toxic danger foods, the foods of commerce, the foods that will make you sick. The number one food is processed sugar that includes white sugar, brown sugar, organic sugar, evaporated cane juice, corn syrup, commercial jams, and so on. If you recall, in segment two I showed you a few pictures of people whose bodies were decaying because they're eating modern food. And the primary food they were eating was white flour. So in order to stop tooth decay, you need to strictly avoid white flour products. And that also includes wheat flour, even organic flour, and unsoaked grain products. This is cookies, breads, donuts, breakfast cereals, muffins, pastries, tortillas, bagels, sandwiches. These are all foods I used to eat. And um, almost any flour product you need to buy in the store needs to be avoided. The only flour products I recommend and that I do eat have been freshly ground and have been fermented in an acidic medium, preferably for several days. And there's a few companies that sell a really high quality bread that has been freshly ground, it's organic and fermented. Otherwise, strictly avoid bread, strictly avoid cereals, don't eat any granola. Some of these reasons of why you need to avoid these foods, I explain in more detail in my ebook and on the website. The diet is not a rigid protocol. You're going to have to vary a lot of things that you eat from day to day and week to week. Um, it's about following your instincts with a very good structured guide. Cooked proteins can be toxic to a lot of people because our digestive mechanism doesn't work completely from eating improperly processed foods. So in order to prepare the proteins in a way we can absorb it, I recommend that you eat your proteins raw, rare cooked, even medium rare, or eat the protein cooked in a gelatin rich bone broth. Deep down many people do not believe in cures because they believe that being a human to exist is a sin, that, that who we are is wrong. I don't believe that. I believe that we are not here to suffer, but we are here to overcome our suffering. We are not here to sin, we are here to be redeemed of our sins. So with that, I offer you curing tooth decay.